Hello, 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 crafty friends. How is everybody? Happy Tuesday evening. Welcome to Raincross Farms Makery. My name is Robin. Behind the computer, behind the, the camera is my husband, Bill, helping me out. And gee, on YouTube, I am looking very orange. I'm looking very orange on Facebook. Anyway, I'm going to get this set up, this computer set up in just a second, and I will be right with you. So when you hop on, say hello, let me know you're here. And let me get the keyword set up. That one. Where are we doing that? One, save, update. Good, good, good. Okay, that should, that should do it. Like it has sent. Hello, hello. Hey, Rose. Hello, Marcella. Thanks for joining us. Push one more button. Pushing buttons. I'm good at it. I'm good at it. So welcome, whether you're watching on Facebook or on YouTube. We are attempting to uh, stream both of them live. So we're still we're still trying to get the hang of that. But Cheryl. hello, Cheryl one and Cheryl two. Hello, Alicia. Good to have you here. Awesome. Some of you have already seen the keyword tonight is kit. So if you type in the word kit, you will get an entry into our weekly drawing that we hold on Sunday nights. And other that it'll it gets you access to some other information. Um, as you're hopping on, we would love it if you would give our page a heart. If you would follow our page, if you're not already, uh, follow our page on Facebook, Raincross Farms Makery. And if you aren't already, subscribe to us on YouTube. It's free. It's not, you're not signing up for anything. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, also at Raincross Farms Makery. We're like, we have like 930 subscribers and we can do some other fun things once we get to a thousand. So that's what we're really working towards. And sprinkle this out if to all of your crafty friends, anybody you think might be interested. And you know what? I, I really do need to get some new glasses. These are, my, I think my eyes have changed since I had this prescription. Anyway, tonight we are going to, I'm going to do one of our kits. We have every month we come out with a brand new Try Me kit. This month there's two, but I'm going to do one that is um, the, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite services. So it's called the Love and Butter Try Me Kit. It's a discounted kit and it comes with everything you everything you absolutely necessarily have to have to complete a project, but there are some other tools and whatnot that I'll be using tonight that are um, optional, but let me show you what comes in the kit. Okay, so this one, it comes with this transfer. This is one of our five by seven. It says the secret ingredient is always love. And then down at the bottom it says, and butter, which is true, right? Butter makes everything better. So here is the design. This is a reusable silkscreen transfer. So it's not just a one and done. You can use this over and over and over again. You also get two paste packets. What comes in this kit is Shimmer Harvest and Ocean Mist. You can use any colors, but these are the ones that come with the kit. And you also get a mini squeegee. And let me show you the surface that it comes with. This is our double-sided pedestal board. So both sides are in black, nice little wooden frame. You can paint it, stain it, leave it as it is. This is our um, rechalkable surface. So if you make a mistake or if you do something seasonal, you do something for Christmas and then you decide, oh, Christmas is over. I don't wanna have to put this away. You can spray it off. You can scrape off the paste and you can clean it up and you can do a brand new design on it. Both sides are reusable, so it's very versatile. So that's the little project we're gonna to do tonight. And I'm going to do it, I'm not gonna use the paste packets. I'm going to use my jars, but these are the same colors. And 
I'll, sh I'll just show you how it would work out if you got your own little try me kit. Sound good? Hello, see, who am I missing? Did I say hello to Marcella? Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Margaret. I don't remember if I said hi to you before. Sonda. I want to say Sandra, but it says Sonda. So we are glad to have you here. Thanks for hopping on, everybody. So let's get busy. This comes, I, I believe it comes unassembled. It's just this unscrews from out of here but super, super easy to assemble. And let's, I think I'm going to, I'm gonna disassemble it so that we can chalk it up flat and then put it back on the stand. So you get this little stand separate. Pretty cool. This is a little bit bigger than five by seven. It's probably, Well, the inside is pretty much five by eight. The inside is pretty much five by eight. So you'll have a lot of uh, extra room for a border. So let me open this up. Good, how are you today? Okay, and I'm gonna get a fuzzing cloth. Now this is a really solid surface. I'm not worried about pulling up any paint or anything because it's not really just a painted surface. It, it has a um, finish on it that allows you to scrape off the paint and re, reuse it. Um, so I'm not going to wax this, but I am going to fuzz this because this will stick, this is brand new, this will stick really, really well to the surface. And when I go to pull it off, I don't want to stretch my transfer or tweak it or anything like that. So I'm going to pull this off of its backer sheet. Always save your backer sheets. And I'm going to fuzz it. I'm just going to put a little bit of lint. I'm glad you're good, Tammy. I'm going to just so it kind of lightens up the stickiness. Now, because it's brand new, it's it's at its stickiest point. So if I were to use this again, I might not have to put as much fuzz on it the next time. Okay. So let me make sure I've got the screw part down. I'm going to center this in here. This would look super cute in a kitchen or a dining room because it kind of talks about ingredients and butter, and I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little something right there that I want to use. Bump that I don't want. I don't want want my paste to bleed. Okay, so I'm going to push this down right where I want it. Here we have it. Let me see if I can't see it. But wherever there is um, that clear part is where the transfer is going to go. So I've got Shimmer Harvest, which is a shimmery gold color. And I have Ocean Mist, which is a, a light blue. And I think I'm going to kind of, kind of alternate my colors. And I'm going to stir this up just a little bit. Sometimes if they sit for a while, they kind of separate. I just give it a quick stir back up. And I'm also going to stir my shimmers because these have mica flex in them, not actual glitter, but just little mica particles. And those sometimes like to settle. So I always like to stir up my shimmers. And I'm going to get a mini squeegee. Hello, Carol. And let's see, I'm going to do 
To do, I'm going to do my shimmer first because it gives me a little extra time. And I'm going to do ingredient in the shimmer. Just pushing this paste through the screen to the surface. And I'm going to do the heart and butter in the shimmer. And scrape off the excess, put that in the jar. I'm going to get my ocean mist blue. I'm going to do other words. This is not something you need to push hard on because the harder you push, the more chance you have of um, having your letters bleed, your paste bleed through where you don't want it. So don't do too heavy handed. Simple craft. This would be something that would be great to also give as a gift if you know somebody who is interested in crafts and thinks would like this. Be simple or a gift for yourself. Put it under the Christmas tree. Okay, scrape off the excess. I'll get my little pokey tool to grab this corner and we're going to pull this up. And I'm going to do it slowly because if I have any spots that don't it didn't come through, I can lay it back down, redo it, but that looks good. The secret ingredient is always love and butter. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna put this on a Dollar Tree drying, dish drying mat. And I'm going to, I'm not gonna clean it just yet. I'm gonna give it a spray just so that paste stays damp. <clears throat> Fuzzy out the way. Super simple. Now you, you will have, in your paste packets, you will have plenty of paste. I only used a tiny little bit. You'll have plenty of paste to do other projects. You just get the one surface, but you can go out and find your own surfaces. Um, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has little chalkboards. This would be perfect for that. You could do a whole bunch of these as gifts. You could. This would be really cute if you used ink. You could put it on a dish towel or an apron. All right. I'm going to take my dryer and dry this just a bit. Fun. I love doing this. It never gets old. Are you having fun? Put it in. And you want to get yourself one. It's only good that the kit. And the kit prices are only good during the month of August or while supplies last. So if you are interested in it, when you typed in the word kit in, um, in the comments, you got a message from me to your messenger that said, congratulations, you're entered in our weekly giveaway. And then there are some other buttons down at the bottom for some more information. If you'll click on the one that says product info, <clears throat> That will send you another message and then you'll find the button that says today's supplies and if you click on that if you click on the supplies that we use today this kit is in there 
And there's also um, some of the other supplies that I used, the, the dryer, the clipping cloth. I can't remember what else I put in there, but super cute. Now we're gonna doll this up just a little bit. Like I said, you could paint. This is just uh, raw wood. You could paint this, you could stain it. You could, you could glue down some ribbon all around the outside or even around the edges. Um, you can decorate it with bows, however, however you want. Let me clean this up real quick. Let me show you how to clean this up. The company guarantees that you can reuse these 10 to 12 times, but I happen to know that if you clean them up promptly and you do it correctly, you can get a lot more uses than, than 12. You can get 20 or more. I like to start with either a paper towel, and this is optional, or I use one of these Swedish dishcloths, and I get it wet and wring it out. And this just takes off this top layer of paste. It doesn't do, a paper towel or this doesn't do a super good job of cleaning it because I can see I still have paste in that screen. But this is getting that excess paste off. This I'm gonna rinse and reuse. Paper towel I would just toss. And I'm gonna switch over to my board eraser. This is very similar to a magic eraser. And I'm going to also get it damp, wring it out. And this is what we recommend you use to clean these because this, whatever material it is made out of, gets into those screens and grabs that paste out. And that's what we want to do. If the paste dries in the screen, then your transfer won't come through the next time. It'll be blocked by that dried paste. Yes, you were thinking about our banner. Oh, the Just Have Fun. We are still having fun. Okay, and I'm also turning it over on the back because the paste goes through to the back. And I'm also making sure I get off any of that fuzz that I put on initially. And once all of this, all of the uh, paste is out of that screen and I can see through it, I'm gonna let that air dry, sticky side up. When it's dry, I'm going to put it back on its backer sheet and put it back in its little plastic sleeve and it's ready to go for the next use. 20 more times or so. Okay, let's decorate this up. Um, I was thinking, I grabbed some ribbon, this gold and blue. I found some blue ribbon. It's kind of a satiny ribbon. It's got light blue on one side, dark blue, darker blue on the other. And then I found, and then I got some of this gold, a uh, little bit wider ribbon. So I thought, let's make up, let's make up a bow. And we will let's put the bow down at the base. I could put something up here. I could wrap ribbon around the top. I could put a bow here. I'm just gonna put it down here at the base. And let's see, I think I'm going to, a, this is one of, uh, what do we call this? Um, awareness ribbon. So this is how I get it started. I kind of make an awareness ribbon shape out of it. And then trim that off. And I'm gonna get some twine. That. So I take it like this and awareness ribbon, and now I'm going to just kind of scrunch it, scrunch it all together like that. And I have a bow. And then I can take my twine. You could use twine. This is Baker's twine. You could use uh, like, you could use really thick thread, like uh, upholstery thread. Yay. 
in. And then let's add in that blue. I'm just going to do, I'm, I don't have a whole lot of it, but I'm just going to do some loops of it. Tape on the end. We'll just kind of do a loopy bow with this. And I think those colors will bring out, will bring out the colors of my paste. Just going to make some loops and right there. Yeah, I make it just a tad bit wider. To get an odd number of loops on each side, but don't stress out over it. Okay, there we go. So I just I just wrapped it around, loop, 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 and I'm gonna lay it back on the top here. All that in there. Turn on my tie this in the back. I'm not a great bow maker, but we can we can wing it. Okay, so here's my bow, and now I'm just going to wiggle things and fluff things. Like that. I'm going to trim these up so they're dovetail. It's wrong way. And let me, you know what, I'm not going to dovetail those. I'm just going to I've got my cute little bow and I'm going to just tie it. That's what you can't see. You gotta move it back toward you more. There you go. Okay, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Wanda. I'm actually monitoring the YouTube channel right now, so I wasn't seeing that. Otherwise I would have caught it. We earlier. do kind of have a different uh, angle on the YouTube one. Uh -huh. And I'm just kind of this back here. I could glue it on if I wanted to. But here is, here it is. Our secret ingredient is always love and butter. What do you think? Do you love it? I just have, I have the gold in the back and it just has a single loop on each side. And then I just took this blue and just did several loops and fluffed it out. I can continue fluffing it out and just laid that over the top. I could, I could add raffia. I could add all kinds of things. I could put a little button in the center there just to jazz it up a little bit. And when I tied it, I just tied a, a bow. So I can pull that out and I can completely remove the bow because remember, this is reusable. I can completely get rid of this and put a whole new design. I've got the back side that I can also chalk. I could spin this ribbon around if I use the same colors or I could change it out and use a whole different bow. 
I could put two bows on it at all times, however you want to do it. So, they anyway. Need, they need I, a stencil that says kitchen is open and kitchen is closed. We they do, need to spin we, it. We do have some. Well, we used to. It's a, it's a retired transfer. Maybe they'll bring it back. Speaking of retired transfers, they did bring back some of the previously semi-retired transfers. And right now, oops, I don't need to look at that. And right now they are on sale. It's called the Summer Lovin' Sale. So um, most, most of the transfers are 50% off. There's other items in the sale that are maybe not quite 50% off, but the retired transfers that they've brought back are 50% off. So go take a look at that. That same way you got to product info, click on product info, and then you'll get three more button choices. Instead of hitting tonight's, today's supplies, hit the one that says summer love and sale. And you can, it'll take you right to, you can see all the things that are on sale. So I hope you will take advantage of that. I hope you get one of these kits. It's a lot of fun. It's an inexpensive way to get an entire project done. Don't think of it as only one project for the price because remember, you will get, you will have enough paste to do several different projects and this is reusable over and over and over. So you can get several different projects out of it. You just do get the one surface, but you, you're creative, you can get your own surfaces. So give it a try. I would love to see your orders go in and I think that's it. I'm going to have a um, very important announcement tomorrow in my VIP group. So if you are not a member of my VIP group, you want to get to join that, um, you can either comment VIP right now and I will get to you. It won't automatically send you anything. Or again, when you look at that messenger, there's a button that says join us and you can click on that and you can find VIP. It's just my Facebook, my private Facebook group. That is where I am able to announce sales and deals and discounts. And I have something that I'm going to announce tomorrow for my club members, for brand new club members during the month of August. So uh, you'll want to check that out. You want to be part of the VIP group. So uh, either comment what? VIP now or click on that button that says VIP. What about join the VIP. people on YouTube? Um, the people on YouTube, you should have in the, is it like a pinned comment or the very first thing it's, posted. it's the, like the title, there is a link that says uh, YouTube link. And then it says M, M period, M E Raincross Farms Makery. Click on that link. And that will do the same thing as the people who are commenting kit on Facebook. It will get you that same information. So YouTubers give that a give that a shot click on that link if you can't find it just leave us a comment we'll we'll get we'll get it to you so thanks so much for joining me quick craft tonight uh we will not have a live tomorrow because we have bible study but we will be back on thursday for certain um at 6 15 pacific time with craft around the clock so we hope to see you then so as always do something creative every day and you can't see it, but just have fun. So thanks again. Love you guys and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.